Welcome back to the Edison Mansion renovation series, where we are now in the demolition phase. Huge, huge change since we've last been in this bathroom. This is the primary bathroom. You might remember it from the faux columns, all the mirrors, uh, the tub that wasn't centered on the window. Well, there is a little bit of the tub left. Um, it was so big, the guys had to cut it out in pieces. There's two things that we're gonna do that I think are gonna transform this space. The first is that we are gonna take the doorway from the bedroom to the bathroom and we're gonna move it over. Everyone who watches these videos knows how much I love symmetry and things lining up. There's a fireplace in the bedroom on the opposite wall and that's gonna line up with this new door opening also. So we're gonna have fireplace, bathroom door, this hallway, door to the closet and window all lining up on the same axis. The other change that we're gonna be working on in here is flipping what used to be a really large um, toilet room that had a toilet and a bidet and what was proportionally speaking a really small shower. So we're gonna flip the two. This shower is gonna be bright all the time, which I think is a really nice feature to make sure that we have a large enough feeling toilet room because the shower was pretty small. We're actually gonna use a wall hung toilet on this job. So getting in and out of what's, you know, a little bit of a tighter toilet room um, won't feel quite as tight because we're hiding the tank in the wall. We are gonna be putting a tub back where the tub was because it makes sense to have a tub in front of the window. But rather than having, you know, like a wedding cake of stone and really ugly marble steps, we're gonna just very, use a very simple freestanding tub. There'll be plenty of circulation space around it. And then opposite the tub is where our new counter is gonna be with cabinetry, um, sconces and things like that. So vanity over here, tub over there. We are now standing in what is going to be the future primary bedroom closet. You can see we've taken out all of the closets that were here. We've taken down some soffit work to see if we can make some improvements in terms of ceiling height and duct work. This is kind of a fun, neat piece over here. Um, so this is a big dormer on the front of the house, and that's why we have full ceiling height. Um, but as we come over here, again, old growth wood, you know, original two by, real two by four. Uh, framing and what we're seeing now is the part of the mansard roof that's sloping in and I always look at this and think it's super super interesting because you know this house has a slate roof on it and when we do slate roofs now you know we do like two by twelves at 12 on center just because there's so much weight yeah I'm not maybe like a two by eight here you know like not a lot so it's kind of fun to see this and it'll be something that We'll either work into the design, maybe there's a window seat here or a bench or something like that, because I think it'd be fun to be able to have part of that expressed in the room, but we'll see what happens. If you've missed any episodes of this incredible journey, go back and watch from the beginning.